Today we have quite the video for you. We are comparing two different blueberry honeys from two different states to see if they yield a different mead result. Let's get started. All right, so I have BC here. Uh, if you don't know BC by now, go check him out. Doing the most. We've done about a million videos. Feels about like. half of my videos on my channel have you in it at this point, which is awesome. Um, so, so this Guess is starring. <laughs> co-starring at this yeah. point. Um, this is a, a blueberry honey experiment. Now, I've used blueberry honey before. Mm -hmm. You've mm -hmm. used blueberry mm -hmm. honey before. We know that it has certain fruity profiles, has certain characteristics. The real question I wanted to ask was, what's the difference between states and places? Obviously, um, if you buy honey from one location and you go and buy that same honey from a different location, it's gonna have different things because bees pollinate different places. It's just nature, literally how nature works. Yeah. So here's what I did. Um, I took and I used two different blueberry kind of blueberry honeys. I used Maine's bees, which you've used. Love you, it. Uh, you bought. Uh, I don't know. You gave me some actually mm -hmm. for this experiment. <laughs> so uh, I used that one and I uh, started the mead with it. Got to starting gravity 1.042, and I pitched the same yeast in both of these things. I'll put these recipes up above basically right now. Oh, okay. Same. It's the same amount of honey. Roughly. Okay. Um, same yeast, which uh, off the top of my head is the D47. So I kept it classic. Okay. Uh, both use D47. Same ish amount of honey. Got to 1.042 gravity for the uh, mains bees, 1.040 for the crystals. So okay. slightly different gravity. Is that um, starting gravity? Starting gravity. Okay. They both fermented out uh, okay. 1.000. In fact, I think it dropped even lower. Yeah, it says 994. But I do think it was an error of my hydrometer, <laughs> okay. which we've chatted about. Um, my hydrometer had some issues that weighed it down more. So I think that we had a little problem in that regard. Okay. Mixed up that stuff, put it all together, fermented, came out of the primary, stabilized them both. Okay. Because I a dry... Blueberry mead was not not really doing it for me. So uh, okay. I then took and back sweetened with the same honey mm -hmm. and got them both to about 1.014. Okay. So they're both at that gravity. We're gonna taste test now and decide, or re not decide, but really just chat about the differences. So this isn't necessarily a which is better, although I'm sure we'll have a preferable one, uh -huh. but this is more a, a, a comment on what's the difference between honey location. So All right. One note about this is the color difference. I don't know. Mm -hmm. they, they're a little closer since I back sweetened, but coming out of that, the primary, they mm -hmm. were very different colors. The mains bees was very light compared to the crystals honey. Interesting. Um, and I thought that was, again, another fun fact. About this okay. Situation. I didn't try to clear them, honestly. I don't, don't care that much about clarity. So in our right hands, we have the mains bees. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to John, who was the one who, get, who got us our honey. He's great. Great, John, shout out to you, my friend, if you're watching. Solid guy. And on the left here is Crystal's Honey. It's another source for honey. In fact, um, I, I don't know if you've used them before, but they provide, I'm sure you, there's the right there. Yeah, that's that same honey that I gave you. <laughs> so they, uh, they have some bulk honey for very mm -hmm. good price. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend that. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and start with the mains bees. Okay. We're just gonna get some checks on it. It's very bright. Yeah. Like floral. It smells exactly how I remember meads made with this honey smell. <laughs> yeah. It's got to, it's just the nose on it is so distinct. Mm -hmm. it, whether it was a, a traditional or a hydromel, it always had that very similar yeah. nose to it. I like this. I mean. I like this honey a lot. It's very, oh, I just gave you some actually. Um, it is way more liquid, uh, and it sounds like a bad thing, but I think it's just because it was uh, it was shipped in the heat of summer um, that it yeah. really just kind of warmed up. And like BC said, uh, when we were chatting earlier, he said his came down to a normal yeah. point. It crystallized just fine after a while. What do you get nose-wise on the... So I think the Crystal's Honey version is fruitier. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. there's more of a fruity depth to it. Yes. And I, I don't want to use this term, but 
the main bee's honey gives it almost a bit of a soapy smell. It's almost oh, a bit of like soapy. a like a bath and body works. Like a more floral, mm -hmm. yeah, just more it's more floral. Mm -hmm. I think more that's perfumey. what you're Yeah. But when I smelled it originally, I thought, oh, that kind of smells like blueberry hand soap. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is a dub commercial. Just yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. No, I agree. I think the uh, the crystal honey definitely has more richness to it, mm -hmm. um, more uh, rich, fruity profile mm -hmm. on the aroma, at least. Yeah. All well, right. let's taste them now. Let's Dive go with Mains Bees. And I um, mm. back them to the same point, just to be fair. Obviously, yeah. it, uh, one could should have been higher than the other, but this is quite good. Mm -hmm. It's got those those big bold berry flavors. There's like, a lot of blueberry side to this. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And uh, the more I experience honey, the more I realize like the varietals are, it sounds weird, but varietals are real. Like you kind of see some of them and you're like, pumpkin blossom. Right, right. Like, right. What's that what, that do? Someone just slapped a label on right. something and called it pumpkin blossom. But no, this is, this is deep. It's, it's got a lot of character. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice body to it, and the blueberry really pokes through. Yeah. It's good. Uh, let's go with crystals. Ooh, this one has more of like a mm. much more juice, it's more juicy. of a wine yeah. like side to it. It's, it's got more body to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, if you had told me this one was cut with a little bit of apple juice, I'd believe it. It's, it's very, very, very fruity. Yeah, it really kind of swarms around your mouth. Inter they're very different. They are very they're different. They're very different. And I I, uh, I didn't do a taste test. Well, I say that in the, the back sweetening process, I'm sure I did a little bit, but I was probably not paying too much attention. Really just following the hydrometer. I have to say between the two, I'm much more, for, much more preferring the flavorful side of the crystals. Interesting. Just because it um, it's more complex to me. Hmm. Like this, so this to me is more like a summer sipper. Um, side in that like they're the same ABV but body wise uh, crispness wise I think this one is more of like a, I would sit on you know on my front porch and, and drink this in 90 degree heat this is like uh, I would pair this with some sort of dinner because it's got more fruitiness richness to it all right so I I disagree That's great. Um, I I think that if, if we're going purely based off of mead character, uh -huh. I think the one made with the main bee's honey tastes more like honey. Mm -hmm. It tastes more like mead. Whereas this one, again, if you told me that this was a sizer, I would believe you. Yeah. Because it's got, it's got more acidity, it's mm -hmm. got more bite. Like you said, that gives it also more complexity. But if I'm just comparing them as, as mead, yeah. I like this one because it tastes like honey. I agree with that. I, I do think that this one uh, um, captures more of a mead profile mm -hmm. because you're right. It definitely um, it, it, it or, uh, highlights more more of the floral side of honey. Mm -hmm. And this is more juice. This is more, which makes my brain kind of immediately go to dinner wine mm -hmm. kind of style. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I'm saying that is because this to me feels like a bigger bodied not like a red, but like, you know, you think of like a, I'm going to pair something with a steak. Yeah. I so I was thinking like a big buttery, like slab of swordfish. Yeah. Something that's got a lot of heft to it where mm -hmm. you're kind of wanting to cut it with your drink a little bit. Yeah. I'm totally here for that. I just think this is, it is just saying which is the better mead. Yeah. I think this one's the better mead. This is probably the better drink. Yeah. No, no, no. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I would say that it, encapsulating honey character, mead style this this uh, Maine's Bees is doing it. And and that's just um, for the same reasons you said. But they're th both delicious. They're both really good. And that's not to say, that's why I hesitate to say one is better than the other. There really is just which is better in which situation. So sure. that goes for all meads though. You yeah. could have one mead that doesn't work with something. Yeah, so. totally palate dependent. But um, this oh. test alone, of course we could do this with every state. <laughs> you know, and say like, what is Arizona versus Texas? Yeah, you know, yeah. do and um, that's a little crazy to do. But maybe, maybe if I get crazy enough, this test alone shows that 
honey varietal matters. And if you are able to get local honey from somewhere, um, especially something that might be niche, like blueberry honey mm -hmm. or avocado blossom or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, make sure you capitalize on that. If you're unable to get these honeys, honestly, like us, we can't really get blueberry honey easy. No. Contact people, you know, check out Maine's Bees. I'll put the link in the description. Crystal's Honey will also be in the description. Mm -hmm. But uh, don't hesitate to use uh, varietals of honey from different states to see what results you get. Not all blueberry honey is the same. Not all wildflower honey is the same. <laughs> Not so, all orange blossom honey no, is the same. No honey is the same. And that's what makes um, mead very similar to wine in that it, it is uh, dependent on the year, dependent yeah. on the harvest, all it's of those things. Terroir. The, yeah, is, yeah. Is, is, I couldn't remember said. the word. Yeah. So. Um, it is it's dependent on the bees. So well, this has been super cool. Thank you for inviting me to. Well, you, you my originally house. gave me the uh, <laughs> the Maine's bees honey, and then I bought the crystals, and I was like, this would be really fun to bring BC in to see what the difference is. No, I love that. Two. I love that. I've got I've got a blueberry melomel going over here right mm -hmm. now that was primary fermentation was Maine bees blueberry blossom. Yeah. And then I was looking for a pound of honey to back sweeten mm -hmm. with, and I remembered you gave me the crystals. So it's actually got both. Hey, that's great. I, I wonder, I might make one with both. <laughs> so uh, again, those those companies are down below if you want to support them. Of course, make sure you support local and support any other uh, honey company you can. Mm -hmm. Check out Doing the Most. I'll put his link in the description as well. You can find him on YouTube, on Twitch, on Instagram, everywhere that is the internet essentially. <laughs> and yeah. uh, except for Facebook. We haven't convinced him yet to get on Facebook. So uh, check them out there and then make sure and just leave a comment below. What do you think? Have you used blueberry honey? And uh, Is there a better state to buy it from? Ooh, yeah, there you go. In the comments, uh, <laughs> defend your state's honey, blueberry or not honey yeah. style. Defend it. Love it. So thanks for watching. BC, thanks for taste testing. We'll be oh. back again in the future. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.